how are you guys doing welcome back to the channel <laughs> i'll never say that but what's up y'all how y'all doing y'all i gotta first say i apologize apologize for canceling the google hangout for us I had a lot going on. I am going to reschedule it. The goal is to do it between the next two weeks. You know, we're, we're going to get it done. And I have to get it done because I really enjoyed that live that we did. So, yes. So, let me just um, put this phone down a little bit and chit-chat with you guys. Y'all, I had a lot going on. I'm getting ready to go out. This is going to be like, you're going to get two videos today because I'm just going to record it today and I'm going to edit today and you're going to get it, right? So, first thing first, I don't know if I mentioned it to you. Yes, I did. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos, my last video. Did I? I don't know. My security system just, just went, but it was time for them to come and, you know, do some other little good things to it to kind of get it back on track. So I had to get a whole new security system. Then I did tell you guys about the leak that I had in my ceiling in my laundry room that I thought was the roof. I don't know if I told you all of that. But lo and behold, it's not my roof. My roof is a okay. But it's the piece of the AC unit, the heating and cooling unit. That's up in the attic. That's above my laundry room. Can y'all just see all the dollar signs floating around my head right now? Yeah. So, when Friday came around, I had finished dealing with getting the security system taken care of. So, that was definitely, you know, weighing on me. Then, with the whole leak in the, the thing me not knowing what was going on but I knew I was covered but what's going on is not covered this was a part of some maintenance that I should have been doing that I did not do so when you don't do what you're supposed to do guess what you gotta pay the price so that was news that hit me on Friday morning then I got some other news that hit me in the afternoon that was work related that just took my whole spirits. And then that evening, I got some more news. And, and then I got some news about some folks that are not close to me per se, but they're close to me doing another, doing another person. And you know, they're sad, so I'm sad. So it was like some death, and then we got some other little personal news. So it was no way I could do a Google hang out and hang out with you ladies it might have made me feel better but i was just so distraught because then once i got the news from the adjuster guy that came here on friday um saturday morning they sent the, they sent some people here they stayed here from 10 o'clock all the way to 2 45 and when they dropped that number on me i was done i was done I sat on the porch and just looked, looked. I don't even know where I was looking to. I was just looking. And then, let, let me go outside and share something with you. Let me, let me share something with you. It's so nice out here today. I don't know what temperature's gonna be. I don't look on my phone. I know yesterday it was like 90 something. I mean, it was, it was scorching yesterday. I got my water. Okay, so. Y'all probably don't care about this, but I need to vent. Hey. And that's my neighbor. So, let me tell you what's going on. So, the gentleman that came to the house to look at the heating and cooling unit, he pretty much laid it out on the line. I messed up, y'all. I messed up in caring for my heating and cooling unit this is my first house i ain't know um i was focused on other areas of the house but that one right there i let the ball drop but in saying that i I'm, he told me i was a rock star he was like because you didn't do any maintenance on this particular unit and it lasts for over 13 years 
you are a rock star. And I was like, but my pockets ain't saying I'm a rock star. So we got past that. So when the gentleman, the second gentleman that came by and he went up and he looked and they was up there. I mean, they was taking them like vacuum thingies and they was sucking the water out, sucking the water out. I mean, and it was just flowing down in the laundry room. He's sucking the water out. I mean, it was just an eventful day yesterday. And I knew it was coming. Oh, my face is just shining. I knew it was coming because, you know, with the news that I had got on Friday from the adjuster. Y'all. My, now you guys know, I want to kind of, I didn't want to rush into nothing. I wanted to just chill because it's not a buyer's market, right? It's a seller's market. Bottom line, the, when the second guy came here, he said, how long you plan on living in this house? Straight up. He said, this deal right here, and he said, if I come out, he said, I came out, or if I don't come out, I'm still going to get paid a salary. He said, but I'm just talking to you as a, a working class person. He was like, and he was a white man. He wasn't like he was black enough trying to hook out, look out for a sister. He was just looking out for a woman. And he was like, how long you been living in this house? You been here for a while. I said, yeah. He was like, you been, I said, I've been here about 14 years. He was like, all right. He was like, things start breaking around 10, 15, you know, depending on the maintenance and hold up. He said, and you got away. He was like, if you want to put this kind of money into this house, you've got to plan on living here at least for another 10 to 15 years. Now, my goal wasn't to live here another 10, 15 years, you know, maybe two, something like that. So, you know, just chill out, let the economy slow down and get things back in order, let Biden do what he need to do. And then, you know, but I was not thinking 10, 15. You know, once you get a unit like that, they give you like a, a no entrance and you pay on it or whatever or you just pay for it right out so if you pay for it right out or if you're making monthly payments you still want to get your use of what you paid for if that makes any sense he was like if you're not going to stay here 10 years don't waste your money on replacing these ac units you know the one on the side of the house and the one upstairs he said if i was you i would patchwork it and i was like he was like, yeah, patchwork it, get it straight, get your um, insurance homeowners to come and fix the walls, you know, all the leakage and, you know, all the stains and stuff and all the um, water damage. So, I didn't tell my realtor nothing because that wasn't the deal. Why, as soon as I sat on the porch and I'm sitting like this just chilling, just looking after everybody had left, my realtor sends me a property, a brand new property. And I was like, is this God? Is he like pushing me? Cause I was like, I, I was stubborn. I really didn't want to move cause I'm looking at what's going on in the world. And not only that, you know, I ain't ready to give up my money yet. <laughs> but anyway, we're not moving fast. I'm just letting you know, you know, with my frustration was what was going on and you know we are gonna you know do that so now let's kind of switch it up a little bit remember i said i wanted to like decorate the house and all that stuff right i wanted to decorate i went and bought some pillows i ain't took my pillow back i kept my pillows but um i wanted to decorate the house and just kind of you know get the fresh paint fresh coat of paint on the walls i wanted to move furniture around just kind of like just just revamp, if you will, right? I'm like, it's always something. But, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go look. I'm going to go look and see. I'm going to take you along with me. It's going to be two separate videos for that. So, I'm going to show you guys the new home. And then we're going to go to Ulta, too. Because your girl got to treat herself. I have to treat myself. For all what I went through Friday. Damn sure Friday. Because what happened at work. Was probably. In the morning time. Was probably the worst. The afternoon. The afternoon hit me kind of hard. But. I got over that. I got over that real quick. <laughs> I did. <laughs> 
But um, if you're gonna go to Ulta, I just got out to think for some drugstore um makeup. I just need some drugstore makeup in my life, so we're gonna go do that. And that's that, y'all. That is that. So I will be updating you guys on when we will be doing the hangout. Give me within the two weeks because I gotta I gotta make some decisions in regards to this AC unit and um a couple of other little nuggets around the house, you know. And, you know, match things up. So, yeah. But how you guys been doing otherwise? Leave that down below. I need to know how you guys are doing. My neighbors is moving. They sign they, um, they some good neighbors. You know, sometimes when you get good neighbors, you don't want to But they saw on their beautiful home yesterday. And they been moving. And they need to be. We going to OT treat myself because I had a rough week I did well I had, a rough, I had a rough day the week was rough just but the day last week was unbelievable so let me show you what I treated myself to I spent $58.43 not bad not bad so first up is my daughter was with me and I was like you know what Kay I haven't had this tree hut um sugar scrub in a long time so I was gonna get like the shade butter, you know, something nice and simple. But she was like, no cake, no candy. So we picked this one up. Let me see how it smells. It smelled like back in the day. It smelled like something childhood. Like something childhood. <laughs> but that's what she wanted. So, you know, fall is here as well it's not here but it's coming so i wanted to get into back into my reds i do have two reds but you know you want something a little bit extra and i know morphe has a lot of red lips lips liquid lipsticks and stuff like that so i picked up two morphe liquid lipsticks i got one in hot shot and one in bloodshot so i got a gazaka red and i got a brighter red so I picked that up. Let me just show you. This is Hot Shot. It's not, oh, oh, a little matte. This is bright. Ooh, see that? To me, it doesn't have, it more has an orange undertone. But I'm still going to rock it. I'm still going to rock it. And I'll leave all the links down below. This one is Bloodshot. I was hoping this one would be like more of a um, blue base. So we'll see. But if it's more like that burgundy, that vampy look, I think it's along that line. Yep. Vampy. 
Ooh, but still nice. I like how smooth it feels. It doesn't feel like um, it's vampy. So I'm getting ready for the fall, y'all. Getting ready for the fall. Can I do some cute little makeup looks with these? You know? Then I picked up this liquid eyeliner. It's called an Epic Ink Liner from NYX. I said, you know what, Kelly? You know I love my e.l.f. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I said, you know what, Kelly? Try something different. Get the pen. I don't know what the pen. I got a good line going on. But, you know, I'm a creature of habit. I like to keep, you know, doing what I'm doing. So, I got this one. And you've probably seen this before. So, this is what I picked up. And I got something from Juave's Place. You know what? For me, to, I don't have a lot of products from Juave's Place. But... The ones that I do get, they're pretty good, you know. One thing I did not like, and that was the, the, the highlight. It was too chunky for me. Too much glitter. But I picked this one. This is called Juave's Red, the Red Cherry. It's a velvety matte lipstick. And I can't pronounce what this... Afrique? It's a red. So let's see. I think this blue base. Um, They had some others like liquid lipstick but i didn't want to get that one because i already had picked up the morphe oh look at the little case look at there look at oh mm. oh oh and it's a different color i'm keeping all three look at that one that's it right there on the end isn't that pretty I'm happy about my red. I am red to y'all. <laughs> now watch when it all comes down to it. I just put my neutrals back on. Because I know I don't have to fuss and worry about that. And last but not least, I wanted to get me a new eyeshadow palette. But I was like, you know what, Kelly? You have enough eyeshadow palettes. Cut it out. So, I got something that I can use like a two-in-one. This is BH Cosmetics. And this is called the Chocolate Marshmallow Truffle. It's a four-color blush palette. I'm not using it for blush. This is gonna be an eyeshadow palette for your girl. These colors are too cute. Look at it. Is that not screaming fall? So even if I'm not a blush wearer, but this is such a look right here. This is an eyeshadow look. You know, if you just do one color, you do all four, you do two, three. This is a look. So I bought this for me as an eyeshadow palette. So I got me some lipstick, got me some eyeshadow, got me some um, eyeliner, and I got me some body scrub. I thought that was enough for me to satisfy my little itch that I had in regards to wanting to treat myself. But that was cool. <laughs> so I want to say hey to all my new subscribers, hey to all my loyals. Thanks for hanging out with me, catching this video. Bye. <laughs>